welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing i hope you all are staying safe and doing great um guys today begins the two weeks of our lockdown i'm going to the cozy store to get some cozy for the house so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i disinfect my cozy before packing them into the house or before putting them into the fridge or putting them in the pantry and please um guys if you're here for the first time and you're not yet subscribed to this beautiful channel consider subscribing and turning your notification bell on so you'll be the first to be notified once i post a new video and i want to also say thank you to my returning subscribers thank you for always stopping by to watch my video i appreciate each and every one of you so guys let's get into the video <laughs> guys i just got back home from the crazy store i'm gonna be bringing everything inside then i'll show you guys how i disinfect all my crossery before packing them in the pantry or before putting them in the fridge stay tuned guys so guys before i brought my crossery inside i made a mark on the floor if you carefully look at the floor you're gonna see a chalk mark on the floor and that is demarcating where this food item is gonna be so once i am done um picking everything up i will know to carefully clean and sanitize the floor so i am done bringing all the grocery inside the next thing i'll do is thoroughly wash my hands After completing the hand washing process, I will then move to disinfect my shoes. Um, these are the shoes I wore to the store, so I'm going to just pour all-purpose Lysol on it and I will put it in the garage for a while. So here I'm going to use my all-purpose disinfectant to clean and wipe my countertop and this countertop is going to be considered the clean surface so everything that I will take out from the crozy bag I will make sure I thoroughly wash and disinfect sanitize it properly before placing them on this clean surface i am gonna be washing everything and some of the thing i'm gonna just um, sanitize and disinfect it everything that i know that human hands has touched i am gonna wash and also disinfect it properly so for this box I'm just gonna disinfect it I have my Lysol already poured on it I'm gonna um, carefully wipe it down because um, this is a box and any droplet lasts for 24 hours so I am gonna carefully wipe it and clean it and once I am done cleaning, I'm just going to place it on the clean surface. So for this one, since human hand has not touched what is inside the box for the past 24 hours, I'm just going to take it out and place it on the clean surface. Please always remember to disinfect your hands before touching the next item. And 
and please make sure to move all the boxes or the empty boxes into a trash bag and just leave it on one spot that you can easily reach. So here I'm just going to pour my cereal into the cereal containers that I already have in the house. So remember this part is considered a, a clean surface and the cereal was carefully removed from the box. So we know that human hands has not touched this nylon for the past 24 hours so they are clean. So over here, I am going to be washing all my fruits. I'm going to pour in a little bit of the liquid soap into my hot water and I will carefully wash all my fruits. So for the veggies, I added vinegar and salt in the water and this is hot water as well. So I'm going to make sure I carefully clean and wash it properly.
imported tomatoes and pepper i added a little liquid soap because i know people touch tomatoes a lot in the store before they put it in before they pick it up they have to touch and touch and touch so i have to add a little bit of soap to wash the pepper and um, the tomatoes So I'm done with all the cleaning and sanitizing. I'm going to be throwing away all the grocery bags and all the boxes. I'm taking this outside. And I'm also going to be sanitizing the entire. I'm going to be cleaning and sanitizing the entire floor. So here guys, everything has been thoroughly washed sanitized and disinfected so I can move them to the pantry and also move the ones that are going to the fridge to the fridge so this is everything we got is yes, our lockdown is starting tonight so hopefully this is gonna take us until this is over so <laughs> that's it Jeepu Gary guys for those Oh, those my ninja people. Ah, y'all remember. <laughs> and I got some cookies for the kids. Lots of cookies for the kids. Um, I got a, a whole lot of stuff. And over there I have my ginger tea. Yeah, that's my ginger tea. That tea is really good. So that's the lemon ginger honey crystal tea. It's good. And I have took some wipes. Yeah, you can buy more than anything that has to do with cleaning. You can buy more than two. Yeah, this bread is from African store. This is a gege bread. Uh -huh. My agege people. <laughs> My kids love this bread. Yeah, this is chocolate breakfast for my little daughter. This was all I could buy for paper towel and tissue. They wouldn't even let you take more than one paper towel in the store. And the water, you can buy more than one water per customer. So I had to go to three different stores to get these waters. To me, I thought the panic shopping was over, but it's, it looks like it is starting all over again. So, uh, I hope this just, I hope this pass away soon because this is not, it is not making sense anymore. Seriously, we can't even live our normal lives going to the store and you have to sit down and wash all your grocery. Imagine what you're going to be paying on water at the end of the day. So guys, um, this is everything I was able to get from the store and hopefully this lasts us for a while.
thank you so much guys for still watching up to this time i appreciate each and every one of you i am done disinfecting of my grocery i am done with all the washing and all the cleaning and thank you for sticking around with me to this point and if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and turn your notification bell on so you'll be the first to be notified once i post a new video guys i am so tired it's been a time it's been a very hectic day for me today but guys today begins um the two weeks of our lockdown so we're gonna be at home for two weeks um without going out if you, if you want to go out you need to have like a note from your job from you know things like that so hopefully this goes away soon because after all the disinfecting and washing guys the water bill is gonna be high i tell you <laughs> the water bill is gonna be high um i pray this pass away and guys thank you so much again i appreciate you guys so much i am super super tired i need to go get some rest until i see you on my next video stay blessed and be safe out there too Bye guys, bye.